Hello, 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 and welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. <sighs> so, Shishanaga. The first attempt I'm not counting. Second attempt was a real one, and it did not succeed. Uh, I've already tried a Naga Necromancer once before that. And I don't know why, but I got this idea in my head that I really wanted to come to life now. I know it's not necessarily going to work, and I know I could probably have better luck if I switched to Wizard. But god damn it, I just want it to work. So... Yeah, uh, attempt number two, and or three, depending on whether or not you count an instant death. Uh, let's let's go again. And this time, let's try something different. Let us accept that stealth. Well, let us see what happens if we don't train stealth. We're not going to be able to get defense up quickly if we go if for armor or dodge. We have an inherently high base HP, so let's go HP. And focus spell casting. Uh, once our mana hits five or more, then we'll consider whether or not to switch from spell casting to something else. I also had intended to go through and adjust all of my setting files between last run and this run, but I forgot to, so we're just not doing that. Managed to kill a, de uh, a might and level up immediately. That's actually a little disconcerting. I didn't realize that dust mites had quite that much XP in them. Uh, but yeah, it seems to me like when I'm on autopilot, I'm fine. But when I hit an enemy that... Well, of course, when I'm on autopilot... Let me try that again. It seems to me that the biggest problem that this particular combo is running into is still the issue of I can't kill certain enemies, uh, which necessitates retreat or strategery. But using retreating strategery around an enemy when you are slow is even diff more difficult. Uh, there we go. I can't do anything to keep these guys back. Let them go forward. That's fine. Let's see if we can't. There we go. Um. Also, it may be worth my while to run uh, Vehumet over Sifmuna because mana regen, which, which doesn't cost a turn, could prove to be very useful sustain-wise. Uh, but then again, uh, being able to mana get mana back on demand is also going to be pretty huge. I don't know, I haven't decided for sure which way I want to go. One thing's for sure though, if I do hit post-endgame with this character, which is my hope and goal, I mean, I'm calling him Lord of All Snakes, Shisha Naga, so you know. He, he deserves to be hypered. Um, if I do get that high up, then I'll have to choose Vehemet for sure, even if it means abandoning my previous choice. Oh, wow. That's how that works. Alright. The riffraff finish that. Of course, we go straight to I. Mana has hit 6, so that can be dulled to a trickle. I still haven't had I still haven't found a weapon that I particularly want. I will take this nearest dagger just so I'm not unarmed. And a dagger is an intentional choice. Rapid strikes. Buckler will reduce my no, it doesn't reduce my spell casting, or if it does, it's trivial because I am such a big creature. And because this version of the game has a new way of uh, assessing those penalties, since I am in fact running this in point uh point one three. But yeah, so this is definitely doing a little bit of building the instinct uh, and trying to get a sense of what you can and can't take on as a necromancer with pain early game. I'm continuing to do this. Okay, that looks like a, a lethal scenario for me. We're going to go the other way around, see if we can't maneuver to a better fight. There we go. This is a much better fight may seem very similar, and it is very similar, but there you go. The odds of them both coming at once were very low. And of course, for every fight I win, I get a new uh, skeleton. Well, for every few fights I win, I get a new skeleton. And I see that it boosted my agility at instead of my intelligence, so I guess Nagas are not guaranteed intelligence at every level, which is what I had hoped. It might be random, might be random between just these two, I don't know. 
All right, I got more uh, mana thanks to yet another level up. Uh, we're gonna actually let spellcasting continue to carry us. I would rather take more shots at slightly lower power than less shots right now. So far, pretty consistently, I've been killed by running out of mana when trying to do something. So let's try and avoid that this time. Three unided items, and as you all know, I make it my policy to never wear an unided amulet. All right. Amulet of Faith will remove until such time as I have desire for it. Though frankly, uh, being that I'm playing a mage, regardless which deity I go with, I'm going to want to use it in the end. Kiku Bakudra, you would think, would be the natural choice for a necromancer. Uh, the reason I'm not considering going with Kik uh, with him is because the big thing he does for you as a necromancer is gives you quick early spells. But I don't need those right now since I have the early necromantic spells. I need the non-necromantic spells, but that's not what he gives now, is it? Uh, one of each for the potions I will give the ignore to. Let's figure out what these are. Okay, Ring of Sea and Viz is superfluous on Anaga. And I don't know what this ring is doing to me, so we'll hang on to that until future, no future notice. Alright, so... Overall, my health has now hit pretty significant levels. For an early game character, this is quite a bit of health to be working with. Uh, I would like to continue to trickle into spellcasting, but we can now begin training my offensive capabilities. Number-wise. Okay, there we go. First sign of orcs, we run. Why would we run? Because when you see orcs, there's probably a swarm of them, and swarms are scary. Scary lines rhymes with Larry, which means absolutely nothing. Okay, that's hopefully a total kill. And I lost about half my health, so it's a good thing that I did have quite as much as I did. Animate, reanimate, cool. It is possible to make just about any build work by playing the early game five to ten times over and over and over until you get a lucky drop that helps. Uh, that is not my intention here. My intention is to come up with a pattern of play that maximizes my odds to the point that I can get 60% of my Nagas to the Naga Necromancers to the lair with that play style. Rather than, oh, well, you just happen to roll right and you happen to fight the right enemies in the right time in the right place. So far, nothing I've picked up or done has been incredibly lucky uh, to the point that it is defining the it defines my success. My success currently is, has been defined by stuff that you could do on just about any Naga. And that's the point. Uh, I'm hesitant to fight this fully, but I guess, yeah, I mean, the thing is I have the ability to resist poison inherently, and that's going to be huge. I don't know if it's immunity, I'm pretty sure it's just resistance. But barring some magical reason, it's not... Oh, right, so I take damage whenever I use pain. That's that's what's been chipping away at my health all this time. Uh, One-on-one, -on -one, I should be able to take it. Let's initiate with poison breath. It is, however, not a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not even close to a one-on-one, -on -one, so we're backing off. Want to get into a nice one tile wide hallway. Don't dare drink unknown potions. We're just going to leave. Okay. Nine health. We survive. And ultimately, that's what it's all about survival or not. Okay. Uh, poke and then go upstairs. It's funny, I had protection from fire, but the single fire blast dealt me massive, massive Oh, that's what's dealing with the massive, massive damage. There's a wand of regen. Or, sorry, of disintegration. I must have been disintegrated a couple times. Arrows of dispersal. If I had any interest in archery, I, I could potentially use that as a lifesaver. 
but it's a minus two to train archery, and you need good accuracy to make use of effect arrows, so yeah, forget it. Come on, you son of a bitch. I have been lucky so far in that I haven't faced off against many threats that uh, that I'm not capable of attacking at all. I would like to pick up regeneration and study sufficient charms to make it worthwhile. We're also going to turn off fighting at this point because I. it's not that I don't want more, it's that I don't want to have four spell schools open and I'm willing to put the rest on defense to work on offense uh, globally. Especially since I'm already utilizing uh, thingy. I'm, I'm studying charms for the defensive angle. Come on, I have an ID scroll. Let's figure out what this new ring of mine is. Resist Necro. I wonder if that allows me to ignore the pain damage that I would normally be taking. Let me find out. Nope, I am still taking the pain damage. Near as I can tell. Okay, we are through. Next floor. I'm going to hang on to poison needles as I go. On the not so off chance I end up getting a blowgun for them. Might be nice to have a, a ranged source of damage stacking. Not that it'll be not that great because kiting is not something a snake should ever think in terms of. I'm not very married to this dagger. What kind of whip you were dealing with here? Stack poison per attack, and what's the attack speed? 110 with a 26 versus 100 with a 64. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, go ahead and beat that up. Zombie to zombie. We are very far overexposed here, so we're gonna go back to the known. Instead of wandering deeper and deeper into the unknown. Test quaff D. Test my new wand. Unknown, but it looked like a teleport wand. It is. I say that like it's nothing, but it is in fact a goddamn lifesaver. That's the, uh, the lucky early game item that I alluded to. Uh, the ability to get out of trouble for free once is going to be... Well, assuming you have a couple turns to let the telly kick in, it's going to be very helpful. Notice how I retreated first, because, yup, sure enough, this is turning into a fight I don't want to stick around for. Just kill it, thank you. Okay, how am I for regeneration? Can I turn it on? Thank you. <sighs> Seriously? I mean, I don't have a choice. I was regenerating correctly. I was using my skeletons correctly. I don't see that I can do much other than hope this is a heal wounds. It is, but that's not the point. The point is he could have killed me with a third cast. Speaking of which, here's the guy who wants to kill me with a third cast. He just showed up. We're going to melee him, get him poisoned, and then finish him. Heal up. Animating everything as we go. How are we doing for armors in the dungeon? Anything of note? There's an elven manufacturer robe I could go for, but otherwise, the nearest thing to me is this. And, uh, no. It makes my spells uncastable. I'm not doing it. It's just that my AC of 6 makes me feel pretty pathetic. It'd be nice to have something a little bit nicer than that. Though I do have this little army behind me now, so that's helpful. Let's close the door and open it a couple times just to attract attention. Get within poison spitting range and close the door again so that they have to come close to melee. And then boom. It might have seemed like a strange decision to want them to come into melee range, but the logic of that is if I'm going to be relying on hiding behind my allies... Oh, damn it. By resing the corpse, I... I gave it the dagger. That was not intentional. Let's 
still, this is awfully nice having a mob going after him instead of being solely reliant on the damage I can provide. Okay, who is still carrying the... You're carrying the glowing dagger, huh? You're the one who's gonna die so that I can get that dagger out. It is cursed with no notable effect. Let us drop it and try the mace. It is a drain mace, which is actually a really nice option. But unfortunately, maces have a reasonably high delay, weapon delay, and I would rather not deal with that, so we're just going to switch back to basics. Uh, two points in charms is probably sufficient for my purposes. Yeah. A level 3 pure necromancy spell is 10%. So, a mix being 14 is fine. We just need to continue training Necromancy to get that number down. So, we're back to spell castings of Necromancy only, but focus on Necro. 16 points of man mana is great. I can totally work with that. I'm just seeing with this Rune Dagger. Dagger of Speed is a winner. Uh, we can drop the non useful thoughts. I will hang on to draining on the off chance that there's a situation that, a special situation that makes it optimal. And I will hang on to my poison in case I'm specifically trying to stack poison onto a melee target. But, yeah. Okay, that's another floor. Getting a bit hungry. You, come with me. Nom 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 nom. Uh, open with poison breath. And that's a lot of damage to take from a single iguana. Let's see about other stuff. Let's begin by turning on regeneration before the fight even starts, in anticipation of wanting it during the fight. It didn't happen, so no biggie. But we're playing version 13, where nausea is not a thing, and therefore food is virtually no object in the early game. One of these days the devs are going to remove the hungering mechanics altogether from the game. I'm fairly sure of this because the more I play the less the less it's anything more than a nuisance rather than a tactically useful strategic choice. Although it is a nuisance I am so comfortable with now that I, I, I would imagine it would change the way I play the game. And it shouldn't. You, hunger should be a thing. You shouldn't feel at liberty to do things that would make you hungry. As much as you like. Alright, curse armor I had the most of. What does that do? Fog. Fear. Noise. Mapping. Alright. Now that I've done all that crap, let's get to a safe place. Safer place. You're making skeletons. So, uh, Wand of... Tell you aside, I've actually managed to get to a pretty stable, uh, stable configuration here. Unfortunately, there we go. There we go. Much better. Test me properly. That centaur is gonna hurt no matter what. Let's put on regeneration and wait for all of my skeletons to die. Unfortunately, oh, there's two of them. Son of a bitch. I don't have a better spell. Uh, fear would not be a bad option here. Unfortunately, but. Yeah, fear is not a bad option. If I can get the centaur to run away, force them into 1v1 melee, and get myself an ally, and then wait, that would be for the best. <sighs> okay. So at this point, I'm pretty sure pain is maxed. It is. Uh, it's time to step up to, well, all of these suck, but uh, what does lethal infusion do? Not effective ones are otherwise subject to magical enchantments. Okay, so no. Uh, vamp drain, I guess, is an option. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but it's probably got higher base damage, and the fact that it regenerates my health as it does its damage is helpful. Uh, that's a zombie, which means I can always disengage if, if the, that's what's needed. So we're going to open fire with darts. 
and then just melee him. Okay. All right, that's most of the floor. Let me beat you up. Uh, poison breath from here won't work. Turn on regeneration before the fight starts. Poison breath did not work even from where it could. Every now and then you hit hard enough with your auto attack, or auto attacks, with your magic attacks to kill. And since I have the right zombies in play, I'm able to kill these imps no problem. Okay, that's most of the floor. Uh, I really wanted that centaur to take out the imp, but instead, the imp is making light of all my buddies. And there's just no way to do this, huh? Alright, uh, let the imp go as soon as we can. And next floor. There's the ecumenical temple. We're going with Sif because it occurs to me that it'll be a while before I actually get any conch going anyway. Um, actually, now that I think about it, the correct answer is to go Vehumet and hope that he gives me spells that I can make good use of. Yeah, to address the total deficit of spellcasting uh, that I have early on. Anywho, turning off spellcasting, because 19 mana is quite quite reasonable to be getting on with, and switching over to weapon training for daggers shouldn't take that many points to make them fairly effective. As well as throw some points at stealth now that uh, we're past the you know, now that we're passing the thresholds where there are more efficient things to do. Amulet of Faith is an obvious choice for me to put on, and I must confess I forgot I had it, so I'm glad this just reminded me. Plus one int rank seems like a waste, although at the low low cost of Peanuts, I might as well pick it up anyway. Uh, Amulet of Conservation is an eventual uh, buy for me. Ring of Regen is also, also something to consider. So for the time being, let's just slip on my own Amulet of Faith and just do nothing. Actually, how am I doing for rings? Yeah, I don't want positive energy, so... Plus one int is actually going to be preferable for like 10 seconds. I say 10 seconds because I guarantee you it's not going to be very long till I replace that. At least I hope I can guarantee that. Uh, several evocables, including some of the new ones. First zombie of the floor. Okay, the takedown. should continue IDing these things as I go. Yeah, actually, let's sink everything into this dagger. Let's actually make dagger my my weapon of choice. Link scroll. Uh, again, none of these. I mean, I'll eventually probably want to forget one, but not now. Random useless. I think that's everything. And since I went with Sif in the end, I don't even have to worry about forgetting things. A new wand of Telly. That's ridiculously uh, lucky. For the low, low price of 31 gold, I will happily pick up a few new uh, potential options, including a blowgun, just so that I finally have that capability. Let's uh, figure out some quaffables. What is N? What is Z? A potion of speed might be a lifesaver eventually. And quaff anything I have two of. 
invisibility and hearing. Okay. Oh, and one more. Flight. Okay, perfect. The reason I, I specifically chose the ones I had two of is if it turns out to be a useful potion, I'll know what it is and be able to use it. If I only have one of it, I'm doing it purely to ID it, and I would rather not test ID like that on potions. Now, there was a small chance I would have two mutation potions instead of just one, but frankly, I've, I've generally noted that mutation potions are a little less frequent. Ah, oh, crap. Definitely want to enchant this up now. What are you, a goblin? Yeah, so you're going to die in like two hits anyway, so let's back off some more. Maximize my working room. It is a draining weapon. That's bad. Good news is, for some reason he couldn't manage to connect with that draining weapon. Oh, because I'm using a speed weapon, so I'm getting multi-attacks per his attack. Um, let's see if I can't... Nope, that's a pole arm. Just go in here. We're gonna stair dance until I'm satisfied. Okay, so, come out, come in, kill. Okay, I'm about to die if I continue fighting at this speed, so let's go agility. That dex bonus should help with my damage with the dagger. It does not. Also, I'm being frozen. Uh, wounds. Also, ZB. Also, would vampiric draining work against you? Draining that being is not a good idea. Okay, then. Uh, pain won't work against it either. So, just keep going, I guess. This is just going to take a while. I'm making all the right moves. It's just not going to be what I needed to do. Okay. How badly drained are we talking here? Well, pretty bad. I gotta say, pre pretty bad. Um... We're fully healed up. Testing out new potions at this point because whatever happens, I would love an edge. Poison. So far, all of them, literally all of them, were negative. And then I burned my cure mutation potion. Okay, so this is literally all I've got. I can go invisible and come out, and then maybe that'll help. Uh, I can whip out a Spear of Freezing, considering that I have zero capability with anything else. And it's not like it's going to make a difference. Uh, let's learn Control Undead, and hope that the white will suffer from that. It worked! So that's what I needed to have done sooner. Okay, unfortunately, it's not doing what I wanted it to, which is I, you know, I was hoping I would have a target I could actually send it on, but stick it on, but whatever. Uh, so how bad is my position now? I am seriously crippled. My capability of casting has been vastly reduced, and I'm low on time and out of a lot of valuable resources that I was using. But I still have teleport, so no matter how bad the thing is, there's a floor on it. It is carrying a unmarked dagger. I will attempt to take him on, and if things go south, I will control him. Nope, I feel drained. That's sufficient for me to take control of him and order him to go wander. So I am very much in need of some chump kills to get my... This right here is exactly what I did not need to have happen. I have no means of separating myself from this uh, guy. I have no means of hasting myself. I mean, I could haste myself, but it would be the last time I could. Let's self-teleport. Let's self-teleport again and activate... Uh, regeneration while I do. It miscasts twice because regeneration, of course, charms has been reduced to zero thanks to my draining. So let's just heal up naturally. Uh, 
Why am I seeing all these high-level enemies? Oh, I'm on floor 8, that's why. I don't know if I can kill a bear, to be completely honest. I don't know what capabilities I have that would even begin to, to, to really kill a bear. Um, I, but I have to do something, because I'm running out of spaces to hide. A lone eyeball is not a bad thing. Book of Unlife allows animate dead and twisted resurrection. <sighs> I guess I can see that being kind of useful, but not really. Recall, I can see being kind of useful, but under the circumstances, not really. Would have to train it up to spec anyway. All told, this is not the book I was looking for. Okay, summoning scroll. Does not last long enough for it to make me to make use of it. Get some bread. I'm not sure what you are, but you're not going to drain me. You are, however, going to kick my ass. Let us... Acquire. I'm going to acquire armor for more than a few reasons. Firstly, always acquire armor. Second, I'm missing a lot of armor pieces that could uh, make be useful. Third, even, as much as I want to uh, get my magic spells up, getting a book right now isn't going to be the book I isn't going to make the spell learnable. Third, I'm not interested in doing weapons long term and short term. The odds of getting a good sky weapon are low. So yeah, forget it. And for those who are unfamiliar with the term, Sky Weapon means a weapon that you use only for its uh, enhancements. Okay, now is an interesting situation. In order to really win this fight, I would need to... I will need... I, what I'm going to do is stack as much poison on this guy as I can. Okay, now that he's heftily poisoned, we will switch over to my Speedy Dagger and start putting some distance between the two of us. Now draining, or er, painting, and now draining at melee, uh, which is vampiric draining, C. All right, that was a very important kill because it gave me back most of my drain status uh, and notice that I am consistently hiding because I don't want to engage until I'm full. Full of mana and, and, and the like. Okay. We can control that skeleton, uh, but it would have been nice to get past him first. Nope, it's a hill giant. We're not going to wait. Control undead. And we need to get this guy into a fight with something else before the spell breaks. Speak of the devil. Uh... I want you guys to wander. I don't want you to be in there. Perfect. Kill him. Okay, unfortunately you guys ended up on the wrong side of him. And unfortunately again, I got hit. And even more unfortunately, I can't do much. Let's heal wounds. Between the two of us. There we go. One of us was going to kill him. Minus four ring mail, yeah right. There's very few situations in which I would want that. Leather armor, plate armor, gauntlets. Nothing I need, nothing I want. Nothing is dealt. Okay. Uh get into position to nail that thing. So blowgun, fire, ordinary dagger. Drain it. That's not the drain button. This is the drain button. Drain it. Drain it. Boom. Drain tanking is actually viable against, you know, low DPS enemies. Backing off. Making some space. Perfect. We're going to control that guy and use him against the bear. Control undead. My hope is that the bear kills him so I don't have to. But the bear is also at very low health. No, that's just blood on the floor underneath it. It killed the bear. Son of a bitch, that was not my hope. Alright, well, go wander away, I don't want to fight you. Actually, you know what? Let me go and res the bear corpse and use that against the white. 
<laughs> Wait, that's stupid. If the white killed him so handily while he was, you know, alive. Stacking poison is the easiest way to kill the Goliath beetle. And that's what we're going to do. Get out the poison whip too. There we go. Can't be rezzed. Yeah, you know what? How's my spell levels doing? I got excess. I do. We're gonna go ahead and learn. Uh, what does simulacrum do? Blah 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 blah. Flesh in hand, replica of original being out of ice. Will sublimate if you're hacked or molted first, or incapable of leaving the level. That's actually not bad. In my current situation, that would be really really nice. Unfortunately, the amount of training that would it would take to make that castable. I've got to assume I'm going to find a better direct method of damage before then. So we'll pick up Animate Dead instead and put that on capital D. So if I'm in it for the food, I do. Well, <laughs> okay. Let's poison him, pain him. I'm gambling that he won't kill me in one turn. That is admittedly a gamble. But it's one I'm willing to make under the circumstances. Pain him. Drain him. Drain him. Drain him. Drain him. Drain him. Back off. Boom. Kill. And we are finally clear of the initial drainage. I need to leave the level, however. Uh... Well, let's fight this one out. Can I drain you? I can, and thank god I did. That's a kill. Anything been cursed to the- or corroded to oblivion? Nothing. Kill. Okay! Uh, that's the end of my time for now, but that's the first time I managed to get the Shisha Naga, the Naga Necromancer, to actually stay alive this long, which was pleasant. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time!